Hey, orange one here. So, uh, we're doing more of what we've been doing, basically. Just trying to weaken these guys down ever so much and trying to get ourselves a little bit more experience. Um, basically just hunting after lords. Yeah. That's that's our life now. Is <laughs> We just run around the landing countryside taking out lords. I mean, it's... It's proven to be not very profitable, actually. We're actually starting to get to the point where we're almost losing money. Um, if I got a couple caravans going, we'd be fine. Um, and we're not really losing money, is the thing, because we're making money off of this uh, war and like taking their swords and stuff. So we're, we're totally fine finances-wise, but it doesn't look very good right now. Um, and I actually am looking at my health right now. I'm, I'm pretty hurt. It looks like the last battle I was in, I got banged up a little bit. I mean, yeah, like, I did some stuff between the last episode and now, but not, not a ton, to be honest. Um, yesterday, when I had my free time, I basically just, uh, played some Kenshi, because I'm hoping, hoping to finish that soon. By the time that this is uploaded, I bet it's actually done. But, um, yeah. I've, I've really been needing to be done with that for quite a while now. Oh, there we go. A little, like, I don't know. There's almost a little hiccup there. That shouldn't have happened. It's strange. Okay, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get more horses. <laughs> this is crazy. We have three horsemen. Like, seriously. It's crazy. Oh. Yeah, if I can... Take that guy out. Sweet. Yeah, our units should be able to get this. Are you on? on my orders, take no. over command. You, you are listening to commands. Okay, so it looks like archers are like shooting or something at them. Yeah, that's what it looks like. They're kind of at that point right now. Yeah, see, we got. Or no, is that the horseman? It's like the horse archer, I think, got a kill there. Oh no, there's there's a couple people shooting. There we go. There are the archers. They should be shooting. Oh no. The, the enemy came in. Oh, come on. There we go. Just need to get a few, a few of them down, and they'll start retreating. Yeah, this has basically been my Rodan's life. But I've been kind of like stuck with uh, Kenshi. I've been really, you know, kind of not looking forward to playing that game because I just have so. Uh, oh, look at that arrow and how that bounced like off that guy's back. That's kind of weird. Like just like popped off his back. It still should be like strapped in, you know. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> almost got that one too. Okay, it looks like this is, yeah, this is it. Okay, we didn't get them. Is that more of them? Oh no, that's my guys. Okay, let's go ahead and end it. Yeah, I think, you know, eventually someone's gonna go to war. And then I'm gonna be able to do pretty well myself. But until that happens, we're just gonna have more of this, essentially. Um, but yeah, like the Kenshi series, it's basically right now at the point where I just need to get like a few more good uh, items which we have to craft, which takes time, but I have to like micromanage everything or else um, we'll get like one-shotted and lose people. So I can't really just like put it on like passive mode and just kind of deal with it later, you know? Um... How, how's that? Okay, we still gotta get rid of a few more, quite a few more actually. I think that is, yeah, it's good. Okay. But yeah, I mean, you can see that we're definitely maintaining a fighting force, but we're not like staying at 170, that we're like staying around like 130, 140-ish. And that seems to be fairly consistently what we're getting. Um. And yeah, we haven't really been able to do an awful lot besides attack lords and villages. And I think that's just going to be how our what our life is like um, until we, um, 
I don't know. <laughs> oh, you know what I was thinking of possibly doing was helping uh, Caldog. Like, um, where is this? Yeah, it's that's nearby, huh? Not super nearby, but I was thinking of going and say, saying to one of the kings, "Hey, I'll serve you," and like l helping him uh, fight back against the Vlandians, basically. And then once he has taken a castle, then I would, um, you know, it's immediately uh, turn on him. Okay. Um, I mean, I kind of want to just maybe heal up a little bit more before I attack that 97 stack, but maybe I should just... Yeah, no, I should just finish them off. I mean, honestly, the amount of times that I've fought this dude, Peric, is kind of funny. Like, it's I've just been like chasing around him and a few other lords. Um, I haven't seen a giant death stack, though, in a while. I mean, that's not going to ever catch me, so it's like a complete waste of their time to send that out, but... You know. Sergeants in charge! Yeah. Oh nice. We got a nice pretty day. I like it when we got battles like this with all the color. I really, you know, it's funny because uh <laughs> I was watching X Machina and they were saying like, what's your favorite color? And he he says something and then the AI's like, seriously? And he's like, Oh yeah, I'm not six anymore. I don't have a favorite color. No, my favorite color is still blue, I'm sorry. <laughs> I may be a grown man, but <laughs> I like me some baby blue. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, these these forces not having any horses seems to make this take all oh, quite a while to get a battle like really up and going. Yeah, you guys are gonna not last too long. Oh man. I didn't think that I was gonna actually hit him there. Are you gonna come back? You gonna to go to those horses? Okay. Oh no, you're going straight into the infantry. Well, that's dumb. You're gonna just get like tagged by a ton of them. Oh no. Gosh, that was bad. There we go, at least I got a hit. There. Gotta wait for that turn. Oh no. That was just bad AI. Like seriously, you're not gonna put up your shield there. Um, is that one of our cavalry like in no. It's behind them. Okay, yeah, we'll let we'll let you guys get some shots off, I guess. Yeah, weird how they have the archers. Because the archers can't even hit them. It's like, you know, like, Archers, you guys should really be over here, is what we should be doing. And then you can actually start hitting them. There we go. Yeah, and then the infantry will hit them. They'll get kind of sucked into the infantry. We don't really need to hit them with these archers. We can just kind of fall back a little bit. Forward. You guys can just kind of hang out here. And then, yeah, the archers should be actually totally fine, because they actually have, uh... Sergeants, take command. Maybe, sergeants, you guys can actually look out for the archers, because I think I may have just caused us to lose a few. <laughs> Whoops. I, I thought that they were gonna retreat faster. Well, we, we had more men, so it's kind of fine. You know what's crazy was I was watching something on the American Civil War. I didn't realize how much the South just completely obliterated the North in like the military battles. But I mean, it kind of makes sense. The North was kind of overstretching. It's kind of like you know the the communists in World War um, World War Two. It's like they just totally like threw their soldiers because that's what they had. They just threw like massive amounts of soldiers at the enemy line. You know. And I think that's basically what um, the American Union Army did against the uh, the Confederates. It's pretty crazy, man. Like, there's this channel, um, Oversimplified. I think it's like History Oversimplified. And I've like totally just been like binging that for like the last like two days.
So I, I binge me some YouTube. Like y'all, right? Who was the first uh, YouTuber that you, you watched? Like, where you're like, yeah, I'll give this a try. You know? Because, like, it's weird for me talking to my students about YouTube because it's totally normal for them. And, like, there's, like, no social stigma and like, watching YouTubers or anything. But, like, for, for me, definitely was a little bit of a social stigma for, um, <clears throat> when it first started. I was, like, definitely, like, Mm, no, I'm not even gonna watch that. Like, even as a gamer, you know, you're like, nah, that's like weird. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need some troops. Um, yeah, we'll we'll go to the tavern. My one hope of that one castle being um, something that we can attack has been dashed. So I think what we need to do is probably just go hunt some other lords down. Um, but we'll, we'll trade and then we'll, um, I don't know. I rest up at the city for a little while. Yeah, all of that stuff's not really even worth me checking. And I'm curious how many days of food do I have? 98. Um, the trader does not have enough money. Well then, how much do you have? Okay, 46,000. Oh wow, I actually have quite a, quite a lot of valuable goods. I'm just curious, uh... I mean, that's not that good. I think we could do like something like that. And we'll have to sell the rest of our goods um, another time. Let's just wait up a little bit, just heal up, just, you know, maybe keep an eye out for the Vlandian Lords. I mean, they're not really gonna come by here. Oh, look, we have another child. <laughs> not that we needed it though. Um, yeah, I would like to be stronger than this for our next battle, so we'll just wait a little bit. It'll possibly get us better relation with these people as well. Doesn't look like it though. Oh, Komar's got them deserting. Yeah, I don't know what they're even really doing, my lords. I think they're just sitting like in Asari uh, like, cities. Like, honestly, like they're just sitting there. Because they haven't been generating wealth, so I don't think they're killing looters. Or maybe they're too slow to kill looters. That's another possibility. Okay, so we have like 15 people that are still hurt. But I'm feeling pretty good about our numbers. Um, I'm going to go back towards Diathma because that is also a place that I can get recruits from. Am I seriously going to... I can catch them. There's 12 of them. I've got 144 troops. Oh, Heckard. Uh, what's your tro troop composition like there? You're chasing me? I might, I might see if you'll chase me to the city where I can kind of heal up then. Yeah, if you'll follow me, come on down. Because um, I'm pretty sure your troops are trash and I could wipe the floor with them. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that army is just a little too close size-wise to our current troop count. And they definitely are close. Closer than anything that I've had to deal with. Um, they've got like 30-ish recruits. I mean, I've got like essentially no recruits. I definitely have better troop composition. I don't f doubt my ability to beat Heckard. My concern is more about, um, what happened after that, you know? In terms of us, uh, having to deal with some pretty nasty... Um, movement penalties and whatnot. Okay, uh, let's let's make our way. We're gonna try and find uh, the ba the Batian king. I think right now that's proven to be essentially our only real option right now. Okay, we'll actually we'll we'll maybe hunt down some bandits and get them to join us. And if do I have the numbers where they'll just like outright join me? If I do, I'll take them because I think mountain bandits are pretty good units, right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. But we'll see. You want to join me? Nah, okay. Oh, there's like looters with them as well. That might be part of the reason they didn't join me. Okay. So, you know what's funny? It's actually like 
the morning right now. I don't know if you can hear the dog right now, but he's barking away. I think that I've got the sound setting, so you can't, but I could be wrong. There's someone coming by to do some work on the house, so I don't know. I might need to um, break this recording up. Yeah, it's kind of, it's morning right now, which is kind of weird for me because like for like the last like 10 years or so as like a teacher, like I haven't just been like hanging out really in the morning. I mean, during summer I do a little bit, but to be honest, I don't do it that much. Like you'd expect me to do more than I actually do. I kind of want to just snipe these dudes just to get a little bit of practice. Yeah, with, like the drop on this thing. Oh no. I don't think that there's any real chance we'll hit them. I might as well shoot, right? There's someone trying to get away over there too? Oh, oh, fell. Okay, I think I'm just gonna end it. Or not, it's not gonna let me. Yeah, it always seems to me that I'm ready way before the game's ready. You know? Like, I'm usually ready like 5-10 seconds before the game actually is ready to let me do that. Man, I'm hoping that our um, army... It, I mean, I know looking at the composition that we have a pretty awesome army. But I'm really hoping that we can... Um, start just like crushing enemy lords like having them come to us thinking that they can beat us and then just crushing them i mean that one army that had like almost as many of us i was tempted to try and and do that with but yeah i can chase you down can i catch you no not really yeah it doesn't seem like i'm gonna be able to catch that dude he's just a little too fast for me right yeah 5.0 versus 4.9 I keep on saying that I'm going to get more um, cavalry, and then I keep on not doing it when I recruit troops. I I totally am aware of that. <laughs> oh, Legata. How, how did I get over here? I like, just found myself like outside Legata. Well, that's good. Um, Desert Bandits. Okay. Well, hopefully you, you beat them. I don't know. Yeah, look at all these troops that I can pick up here. They're pretty trash, my god. But, uh... If I need more, I'll, I'll just come back, right? That makes me want to go... Um... Do something risky. Theresate, really? You got this castle? That used to be mine, actually. Now that I think about it. Um, 21 forest bandits. That would be a really nice group of archers for me if I could catch that, and it looks like I can. Sweet. Alright, let's do it. You'll never take us alive. Yeah, um, I really was hoping to take you alive, but I don't think that's gonna happen right now. Sergeants in charge! Yeah, these archers, yeah! They, they could, um, they could get a number of kills on us, but we have so many recruits at nearby city, I'm not too worried. And then there was another group of forest bandits that was over there as well. I might see if we can go hit them up as well. So it'd be nice. It'd be super nice to get more archers. Oh. Yeah, maybe I need to fall back, it looks like. Yeah, we'll, we'll fall back just a little bit more. There we go. So fun. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know exactly how much I lost there, but it, my computer ran out of memory uh, for recording. That's crazy. I, I've i got this all running on my old, um, old storage from my old computer, basically. I just carried that over into the new stuff. Actually, hold on. I was just saying how I need more of those, uh, those dudes right there. More cav. Which one of you turns into cavalry? Mm, woodsman? Okay. Sure. Yeah, at this point, we I really do need that. I'm over my troop limit? Really? Oh yeah, we do have a ton of like crummy recruits, huh? Oh, I remember. Okay, there we go. And then we'll go here. 
because I think it's it's Bowman. I don't think that you get the bonus from uh, which we'll call it. Oh, did I not even get the recruits? I think I just like skipped over the recruits. I didn't even pick them up. Well, I feel dumb. I'm gonna try and catch this group though. They're really good units if you can catch them. Worth me spending just a little bit of time. Oh. Surrender. Oh man, I thought they were gonna surrender to me and offer to join. Take over command! I wonder if they didn't because I had a full party. Because I think that that's what just happened, but I don't know. Oh, you're, look, that's the dude that I just uh, upgraded. The little horse archer. I didn't realize the Romans had horse archers. And I, that kind of, you know, makes sense. You know, it's one of the best uh, tactical, you know, options, really, having mobile um, archers. There we go, that forest bandit was the one that was really concerning me, because they, they have some nasty arrows. There we go, that's fine though. Yeah, actually, um, let's see. I think that because we're getting some work done on the house, that I'm going to have to um, cut this episode short. I don't know if I'm going to continue it later today or end it here. I'm not, not really sure. In either case, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.